So before we get to questions, um, can you get us started with an opening statement on your outlook for this upcoming season? Sure. I mean, uh, you know, it's a, it's a new time. I mean, we've uh, transitioned with a new football coach and myself, and we're opening up Georgia State Stadium, which is an unbelievable facility. Our team has prepared hard, you know, throughout the spring, the summer, and now into fall camp. And, uh, you know, I think we've uh, gotten our guys, for the most part, to think in a physical manner and uh, have some confidence about them. And they, they're looking forward to a, just starting this season off right this Thursday evening against Tennessee State. There's a lot of excitement built up over this thing, and uh, they need to come out there with their heads strong, held high, and, and, and go do what they can do. Well, Coach, before we get to questions on the field, um, what's it been like opening a new stadium and putting it together for this Thursday night? Well, I mean, to tell you the truth, I haven't had a whole lot of dealings with the stadium, uh, you know, as far as construction and transformation of all that. But uh, just from uh, the media aspect of it, you know, here in the Atlanta market, I mean, and especially throughout the southeast, uh, we, we've been on about every – I don't know, internet site, website, newscast. I mean, there's been flyovers. I mean, it was big news here in the southeast that Turner Field was turning into a football stadium, and, and that generated a lot of interest for our university and our football program. Well, Coach, uh, on defensively, looking at your secondary, you return two of the, the best cornerbacks um, and secondaries in the Sun Belt. Um, what's, what will that do for your defense for this season? I mean, anytime you got good corners, it lets you do a lot of things defensively. I mean, making you can man up a defender like that and and hold him at bay for a certain amount of time. It, it gives us uh, a great sense of uh, security, so to speak. So, you know, there's there's multiple things we can do, but those guys are are, are really good football players. I mean, we, we've got probably three or four of the guys that can play at a very very high level, and it just uh, gives us a comforting feeling knowing that. Uh, you can experiment a little bit up front and knowing those guys can hold them at bay in the back end. Well, Coach, this is obviously your first season, but offensively you also return a experienced quarterback um, and Todd Boyd and Penny Hart, experienced wide receivers. Um, what has that allowed you to do with your offense as you prepare for this season? Well, I mean, you know, Penny Hart and, and Boyd were coming back off the injury, so we – you know, we didn't have them for the spring. Uh, you know, just trying to ease them back into the to the actual team day to day operations. Uh, having a quarterback like Connor Manning that's you know been under the fire a little bit has helped us just from a from a leadership standpoint. Uh, he's done a good job. He's a cool kid that doesn't get rattled. Uh, we just got him trying to make better decisions in his throwing game, and uh, hopefully that eliminate a lot of his you know, his interceptions from a year ago and his missed assignments from a year ago. So we'll see if we can get a smarter Connor Manning and uh, a healthy Boyd and Hart, and we should be okay to help us open things up offensively. Coach, finally, um, what have you seen from Tennessee State as you prepare for this game? Well, I tell you what, I think they're a well-coached bunch. I mean, uh, and, and a lot of coaches say that, but when you watch them on film, especially up front in their offensive line and their skill position with their backs, their quarterbacks, uh, they all seem to be on the same page. I mean, they uh, they have the ability to RPO you to death like most people are trying to do these days, but they do it really well. They can run the football. And, uh, you know, from a defensive standpoint, they've got a new defensive coordinator. I understand the head coach will dabble in it uh, a little bit as well, but uh, I think for the most part they've turned it over to the new guy defensively. So we'll, it, it'll be a kind of wait-and-see process. We'll kind of try to have to figure them out a little bit during that uh, – first quarter, you know, of the game and see exactly what we've seen on tape, see if it translates onto the field on Thursday night. But all in all, I can tell you what, I played Tennessee State before as a coach while I was at Appalachian State, uh, and, and they're going to be well prepared. It's going to be a big game, and just like it is for us. And we look for a great competition and a lot of good sportsmanship and going out there and, and giving it our all, both of us, on Thursday night. Well, Coach, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon, and uh, best of luck in your first game. Thank you very much.